Now, in this tutorial, we are going to learn what is object oriented programming. Object oriented programming is faster and easier to execute. To understand object oriented programming, you need to first understand the difference between procedural programming versus object oriented programming. Now, let's take a look at the difference between both these programming techniques. So, let's first start with this procedural programming. Everything you learn so far is all about procedural programming. It is all about the step-by-step -step process to create a PHP program. While object-oriented programming is all about creating objects that contains both data and functions. Don't worry if you don't know what the object is. We will look at what the object is and how to create a class in the next video. But let me first show you a very simple example to explain both these techniques. So, let me first show you the example of procedural programming. In procedural programming, if you want to echo a string, you will simply create a function and specify name to it. And in the parenthesis of this function, you will specify the argument and return that argument. And then, you just need to call this function with echo statement. So, when you echo this statement, it's going to return the this parameter string. Very simple, right? Now, let me show you how object-oriented programming work. In object-oriented programming, everything starts with the class. So, it starts with the class keyword and then specify the class name. In this class, you have properties. So, I'm going to first specify a simple property and then I'm going to create a method. In this class, I'm going to create a simple method. So, I'm going to just say here function, specify the name of the function and specify the parameter. And then I'm going to just call this, call this property in this function and then specify value to it using this set name function. So, when you specify parameter to this set name, it's going to specify to this property. Just out of that, I'm going to create a new function to get the value of this property. So, I'm going to create a new function, specify name to it, get name, and then I'm going to return this property. And just out of that, if you want to call this function or if you want to access this property, you need to create an object of this class. So, I'm going to simply create here a new object. I'm going to create a simple PHP variable, specify equal to sign and say new my class and I'm going to just specify here parenthesis. So, this statement is going to create an object of this class. So, now I can access all the properties and methods of this class using this object. We will learn everything about class and object in the next tutorial. But just for now, I just wanted to show you the difference between procedural and object oriented programming. Now, I want to set the string to this property. So, I'm going to simply call object and call set name function. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to specify name to it. And just for that, I'm going to just echo object and call get name function. When I call this function, it's going to return this property. And you're going to get your daily tuition string on the document. Now, you can notice there are big difference between both these techniques. You can notice we write tons of lines to get just a string on the document. If you choose a procedural programming, then definitely you will not be a professional developer in future because procedural programming will make you repeat the same code again and again and the professional developer always work with this object oriented programming. So, you need to decide which technique you want to use to create your application. Now, this program will display the same string as previous but use an object oriented way to do this. Object oriented programming makes it possible to create full reusable application with less code and shorter development time. Object oriented programming or you can say OOP helps you to keep the application code dry. It means don't repeat yourself and makes the code easier to maintain, modify and debug. All the professional developers use object oriented programming to create their application. So, start creating your PHP application with object oriented programming. So, this is the time to be a professional developer. In the next tutorial, I will show you how you can create a class in PHP. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.